<laughs> Raho, come here, punch out boxing. Delighted to be speaking to yeah, JD Cuevo. Cuevo, is that how you Cuevo. pronounce it? Cuervo. Yeah. For the first time, uh, JD, um, your English debut here. Uh, I believe you are from Bogota, Colombia originally. How did uh, a young man from South America find his way in Wales? Uh, not the logical decision, is it? No, it's just um, my mother remarried with a, an Englishman, which is my stepfather. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to him. Um, so she, we, she they got married, fell in love. Um, my mom always wanted to get us out of Colombia for a better life. We, it wasn't really great in Colombia in terms of like the future and the living. So my mom said she wanted to get us out of the country for a better life, and here I am, just making my dream come true. Absolutely. Uh, how long have you been in the UK? I've been eight years now in the UK. Okay, so uh, yeah, you were what, 12 years old when you moved here? Yeah, 12, 13, yeah. Did you start boxing here in, in the UK? Yeah, they, I, I wanted to be a footballer, but in school I, I got bullied and everything from being from different country, calling me and that, so I just wanted to learn how to defend myself, mm -hmm. side boxing and just fell, fell, out, fell in love with that. I realized I don't need a team mm. to be great, it's just it's all me, all my own work. So I fell in love with boxing and just found my purpose. Fantastic. Uh, did, did you have much of a, an amateur pedigree? Did you win anything in the amateurs? Uh, I won the Welsh Box Cup. I always mm. like, I only started boxing at 15, COVID hit, but I just kept boxing. I boxed anyone, any weight, any mm. way. I would box anyone, so I won the Welsh Box Cup. I beat English champions, I beat the... Uh, but never won a series of national title, just watch box clubs and stuff. But I just I just felt that was more me to the pros. Yeah. So that's why I turned turn over quite early. And uh, of course you're training with the great Gary Lockett. Uh, he was one of the great punchers uh, I remember growing up. Uh, is, is that the sort of fight you want to be, an exciting puncher? Yeah. Yeah, I want to be just like Gary. Yeah, I, I could tell uh, the way you went in on your opponent uh, this evening looked like you wanted the big knockout. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was uh, your second pro fight. Uh, how many of these four rounders do you think you, you need just to sort of get that initial uh, technical thing right? I'll just, I'll just see what Gary says, what my team says. I just, I'm very raw in this game. Mm -hmm. I haven't got much experience, so whatever they say, I trust them, so I just I just go with the flow. I just keep my head down and keep training. Yeah, now, obviously you're young, so you've got plenty of time. Uh, stylistically, uh, what, what are the fighters that have influenced your, your game? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I like Joe Goodin, I'm the manager. I, I love his style and sharpness. I love Josh Kelly, the way he moves. I lo love Joe Kazaki, the way he moves. Like the move movement fighters, counter shots, big. Mm -hmm. Big knocker artist. I love that. Like, yeah, Josh Kelly, Canelo, obviously. Fighters like that. I love like the counter punches. Mm -hmm. Oh, very interesting because, of course, in yeah. the UK at least, we have a stereotype Latino fighters, usually pressure fighters. But obviously, you've learned all your boxing here in, yeah. in Europe, so uh, yeah. that, that doesn't really count. Okay, um, how regularly would you like to be out? Tomorrow. Yeah. I'll fight tomorrow. Uh, I just, I just wanna, I don't wanna take fight and fight and not keep improving. I wanna fight every day, but improve every fight. You got me. Yeah. Uh, I'll fight the soft. I'm, I'm a gym rat. I'm always in the gym, so I'm happy to fight next week if, if Lee rings me up. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's your preferred weight class? Do you think? A little bit like that in this one. A little bit like that. My opponent came in a little bit heavier, but it doesn't really matter. Um, we like to fight 65 kilos. 65 kilos, I think, is ideal for me. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so look what, light welterweight, I think that yeah. is. Yeah. The red hot division. <laughs> yeah. Or if it was a day before weighing, 63 and a half, which is super. Like, I think it's super, super lightweight. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that well, makes sense. And uh, there's no shortage of opponents for you. I think it's one of the most stacked divisions. So, yeah. Um, okay. Well, uh, congratulations. Thank you, much. And uh, yeah, well, I guess it's going to be a hell of a journey. Look forward to seeing more of you uh, as soon as we can. Thank you very much. Thank you.